Hello there, this is Gavin Mountford here from GavinMountford.com. Now this video is a follow-on video, or video 2, of the video I produced about how to create a, a very compelling signature that you can use at the bottom of your emails and you can use at the bottom of all your autoresponder messages so people can see you, people can find you, and people can contact you as quickly as possible. So in this video I'm just going to show you how to add the photograph here. I've shown you already how to add the actual stamp or the actual business card to your emails. But I just wanted to show you how to add the photograph. So what we need to do, we need to go to a website called photobucket.com, uh, create an account, and then once you're on the account, go over to your account, and you'll need to upload an image. So we click on the upload image button, and this brings up um, images that are on your computer. Now obviously in order to add an image of yourself you need to have taken a photograph of yourself which you can do through your webcam, you can do through a normal camera um, or if there's any other way you can do it and uh, grab hold of an image of you that looks professional. It can also look like you're having fun. It doesn't, what you don't want, you don't want it looking stupid and ridiculous and something that's not going to give you any credibility. At the end of this, this is attraction marketing and you want credibility so people believe in you, people follow you, and that is very important. So if you get the image, now I've got an image here. Now the dimensions of the image, my image anyway, is 68 pixels by 80 pixels. So that's 68 wide by 80 deep or long. So what I'll do, I'll click on the image, I've located it on my computer, I'll click open, and all of a sudden it uploads the image to Photo Bucket. Now, I'll add a title, uh, Gavin Image, you can call it whatever you want to, and then I'm gonna go, and it saves it, and I'm gonna return to album. Now once I've done that, if I come down here, I can see my image. Now, what I like to do, and here you can actually add the direct link and copy the direct link. Now what I like to do is right click on the image, go to copy image location, copy image location, and that's copied the image as well. Now this is where the image is stored on the internet. Now you need to come back over to to the blog post that I created earlier, uh, wherever it's gone. Okay, come back over to the blog post, and you see here where it says, um, this is this is my code here, which is my website, uh, my old website, in fact, mlm10weekchallenge.com forward slash images forward slash Gavin. This is where my image is located. And what you need to do is paste your new code, which you'll have here, this will be your image location now, it's going to be photobucket.com forward slash albums forward slash number forward slash. So whenever you go to that in your browser, and I like to just uh, just go to it to check that the image is there, so I copy and paste the, the URL into my browser, and there you can see your image. So your image is now on the internet, on the web, and you have a location of that image that you can add to your wise stamp code. So if you remember from the last video, we edited all the bold bits and changed them to your links. So what you'll need to do, as I just said, is now make sure you've got this link location that I just showed you how to get, and paste it over my link location and then you'll be able to go into your autoresponder, into Aweber or GetResponse, um, and add that to the bottom of all your email messages. Now, just remember, in order to use WiseStamp in your email, all you need to do is download WiseStamp and go over to your email. In fact, I showed it you in the last video, so you, all you need to do then is edit your signature. Um, now if you've got any problems, any questions, if you find this challenging, I mean it is a little bit more advanced than complete beginners, so you do need some knowledge, but it is easy to pick up. You'll get it, if you work at it, this is something that can last a long, long time. If you imagine adding your email signatures, 
to all your autoresponder messages, that's it done. You don't have to worry about it again. You don't have to mess around with it. Every time a new prospect joins your autoresponder, they'll get the email with your signature. They'll also see your photo in that, uh, in that email and in that signature. So they'll be able to put a name to the face and your personal brand will grow and grow. So very simple stuff. Um, play around with it. If you've got any questions, you'll find me on my website, gavinmountford.com. So this is Gavin Mountford here, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Goodbye.